side button is awesome, isn't it? I wish that existed in real life. Like some, one of your coworkers comes up and says something stupid. You're like, nope, everything you and everything you've ever said is out of my consciousness. I'm never, I'm not dealing with you anymore. Did you hear the one about the Wall Street Journal anchor who walked into a bar? All right, that's probably not so funny. It would end in something like Angela Merkel or Eurozone, but that was Bill Crawford. He is funny, and you know who else is probably funny? Don Steinberg, he's in Chicago. He's gonna tell us all about the comedy festivals that are taking place around the country. But Chicago's the hot spot. That's where you are. You've been there. What are we seeing? How, how are the laughs? It's been pretty fun. It's, um, you know, it's, it's six days of, of stand up and other stuff. And um, um, it's, it's, it's all kinds of things. There's a lot of uh, off color humor, a lot of smart stuff, and, and some, big, some big stars here. Now, Conan O'Brien stealing the show, making a lot of Chicago jokes, I hear. Yeah, Conan has come in, and I guess, you know, they have to make jokes that can get the Chicago crowd to, um, to get excited, and also that people who aren't from Chicago will get. So they've been going after the Cubs and Michael Jordan and Al Capone. If you can think of any Chicago cliche, it's been on Conan uh, the last few nights. Now, typically comedy festivals haven't been huge money makers, but they do all right. This is a really tight-knit community of people, and, and they sort of pace themselves throughout the year in different cities. Yeah, I was wondering, because there are a lot of festivals. There's one in New York in the fall, Miami in March, and there's Montreal later th this summer. And, and I was asking, you know, well, don't you get kind of fatigued from all these <laughs> festivals? But, you know, they actually, you know, it's kind of a lonely life. Sarah Silverman told me that they, um, they like to, these opportunities to actually hang out together. So they all come together to the festival, and afterward they all go out for drinks afterward and hang out and, and, and tell each other funny stories. How does it work, uh, Don, if I want to go to one of these festivals, do I, like, buy an all-access laugh pass and just basically, like, laugh until my ribs hurt and, you know, I can't do it anymore? I mean, how's it, how's it, how's it play out? Well, that's a good question. Some of them... Um, some of the smaller ones do that, but it, it's actually not so much like a Woodstock where you awesome, you get your that existed in real life, like some that, and then you um you know you go to whatever show you want or you sleep over um, or, or a Bonnaroo kind of thing. Um, it's um the comedy festivals just because of the nature of it. They have you buy you generally buying a ticket to a different show, so um, you really have to be a, a hardcore to be going to like right. um, shows on multiple nights. Let me ask you this: so uh, even the smaller festivals get some of the big names, right? Like Wanda Sykes. Yeah, yeah. Well, she was at the uh, the Austin. There was this new festival called the Moon Tower Festival in Austin, and it it's um, it was just after um, South by Southwest, which also has added comedy too. Um, and uh, Wanda Sykes and, and Seth Meyers were down in Austin, and um, um, I think people, I think it, you know, um, they consider it a little vacation. You know, I go to Austin, and then I'm going to Portland, and then going to Chicago, New York, Montreal. Um, so yeah, these guys, you know, these guys are working comics, and they get, I like to get around to fun places. And why do they like to be together so much for these festivals? I mean, comics, you know, they, 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 they're often very solitary people. They do things on their own. But in this case, you know, they all say, like, we just love to get together. I mean, do they just like to test their material on each other? Or is it just that it's such a lonely road that they walk most of the year? I think, yeah, it is. I think that what makes you a comedian is you're kind of a, an outcast or a loner. And you, most people don't get you. So to be around people who do, I think, is such a nice uh, it's like it's like your club. It's like your people. Um, so I think they really appreciate that. All right, Don Steinberg, looking at the funny festivals going on around the country. I'm not even going to leave with a joke. I can't even think of a joke. But that's why I am not at the festival. More on that in the Friday Journal. Thanks for being with us.